So this is part three of the SpongeBob scientific method worksheet. So um, we've answered numbers one through five on um, all of them. Now we're going to do numbers six, seven, eight, and nine on each section or each scenario. All right, so number six on part one talks about what is the control group. So remember when we talked about control groups, it is going to be the group that is not getting the independent variable. So our control group would be the group with the fake sauce, basically, with the mixture of, I'm going to say mayo and food coloring sauce. The experimental group is the group that's getting the independent variable. So it's the group eating the special sauce. So we could be very specific and we could say um, instead of the group, we could say group A, which is the group getting the special sauce, and then group B, or the food coloring sauce, is group B. And then the group that's getting the new special sauce is group A. Then some constants. So we talked, remember, we talked about how constants are things that stay the same in both groups. And you can just go on and on, but I just want to. So I'm going to say both groups have 50 people. And both groups um, report back after two hours. So those are two things that are consistent within both groups. Then our final conclusion. Remember, your answer has to determine if your hypothesis was correct or not, and then you're explaining why. So we go back to our results. So it says um, both groups were told they were getting special sauce that reduced gas production two hours after eating Krabby Patties. 30 customers in group A, which were the group that got the new sauce, reported fewer gas problems, and 8 customers in group B reported having fewer gas problems. So, our hypothesis was correct. More people in group A with the new sauce reported fewer gas problems. So try to be as specific as possible using the same terminology that the scenario used. All right, let's go down to section B. So remember our control group um, and our experimental group. Control group is the group that does not get the independent variable. So unfortunately, with this, we don't really have a control group that we can compare it to. We don't have two Garys. So we're going to have to think about what are we comparing the amount of somatosis now to? Well, that was Gary before the treatments. Then the experimental group is getting the independent variable, which is the treatment. So it's Gary with the treatments. Two constants, okay, so one constant is the treatments. Were both used for one week, and they were both used on Gary. It wasn't like SpongeBob used one and Gary used one. They were both used So there's a bunch of different ones that you could use, but they were both used on Gary. Then our conclusion. So our conclusion was we don't know which one worked. So the hypothesis was correct. A treatment worked, but we are not sure which one worked because they were both done at the same time. So this was a really bad experiment. 
we don't know which one worked because both the um, both the Dr. Kelp and the seaweed rub were used at the exact same time. So we're not sure which one worked correctly. So we're going to say that, yes, our hypothesis was correct. A treatment worked, but we don't know which one worked because they were both done at the same time. All right, moving on to C. So we've got our control group, um, which would have been SpongeBob because he used the regular lotion. Then our experimental group, remember they're the one getting the independent variable, so that would have been Patrick with the muscle cream. Some constants that both worked out for two weeks. And they both did the same workout. Our final conclusion, well, we're going to have to go to our data table and see. So, it said that it doubles the amount. So, we have 18, then 24. Well, 24 is not double 18. Then we have 33, which is not double 18 either. So, our hypothesis was incorrect. The muscle cream did not double muscle power. Now, if our hypothesis said that the muscle cream increased muscle power, then it would be correct. But we're being as specific as possible. So we're having to say that the muscle cream did not work because it did not double muscle power. Okay, moving on to the next one on section D. So our control group is the group not getting the independent variable. So that's going to be the fish eating the regular food. The experimental group is the group with the independent variable. So it's fish eating the special food or the microwave food. Some constants. It was um, the same maze. And there were 10 fish in each group. But again, there are a bunch of different constants that you could list. Our conclusion. All right, so looking at our data tables, we see that this number, we would go line by line. Does it decrease the time it took? Okay, so yes, it decreased. No, it increased. Yes, it decreased. Yes, it decreased. Increased. So we would go line by line to all of these and determine if it actually it decreased the speed or not. So, unfortunately, our hypothesis was incorrect. The microwave food does not make the fish smarter or swim faster. So we would be done with that one.